I'm going to teach you how to dominate downhill pitch shots. So with the assumption that your regular pitching game from level or flat-ish fairway lies is solid, meaning you can make relatively solid contact most of the time, um, you're not catching them fat or thin, this should be a variation that's relatively easy for you to both understand and perform. So for a regular pitch shot, largely we want to see our ball position in the center of our stance and we want our um, body mass perpendicular to the ground. Now perpendicular to the ground body mass on a level surface is balanced 50-50, but yet if we take that same approach of getting our balance 50-50 on this type of slope, then all of a sudden our body mass is actually not perpendicular to the ground, it's leaning some amount towards our trail side. And if we lead if we lean some amount towards our trail side, what happens is we take that swing arc and we cause that swing arc to bottom out a little bit earlier relative to where our foot are positioned. So that would be like saying that if we were standing on a level surface, that's how our swing bottoms out. But if all of a sudden we're on this ball below the feet downhill lie and I tilt back to get my balance 50-50, all of a sudden the bottom of my arc starts to hit the ground a little bit early. And that's the last thing we want. So what we wanna do is we want to double down on two things. We want, have, we want to have two effects that cause us to catch the ball before the ground. The first effect is adjusting our ball position ever so slightly further back than where we would play our normal core concept wedge shot. And then the second piece is leaning into our left side. And it doesn't take very much mass shift to my left side to have 98, 95% of my body pressure over my left side. So that's the setup adjustment that we are going to make. Um, the second piece is what adjustment in the swing. So I have this golf ball and I have this golf ball representing a swing direction for fade or cut. And the reason I want fade or cut is if I take that same concept of uh, a swing direction that's relatively straight to my target and I tip my swing direction this way, then the point on the arc just prior to ball contact lifts further away from the ground. Uh, the disasters that happen from this type of lie, those disasters are always club strikes the ground before the ball, um, causing sometimes fats right in front of you or blades across the green. So when I go setup adjustments and I go swing direction adjustments, that causes that club to get to the ground a little bit later. Then the last piece is actually felt in swing. So I've got tilt the arc towards my lead side. I've got turn the arc to the left and then I've got what I'm gonna feel past impact. And so I've got this relatively steep angle of descent. We know that as a tack angle. And then I'm gonna try and keep the club head's swing low to the ground through impact. And as I feel that, in order for me to perform that, as I feel it, I feel like my knees are actually increasing their flex down towards my left or lead side here. This is how it works in live fire. So if this was a level lie, there's my adjustment in ball position. That adjustment is probably an inch and a half. And then I've got my pressure, 95% on my lead side. Here comes the swing direction down and left, kind of following the parallel path that these three balls describe. And then that feeling of that club swinging low to the ground post contact. Just like so. Yes, you can expect the ball is going to be coming up much flatter than any other pitch shot would. But as you're making contact this good off this downhill lie, you can also expect a little bit uh, greater grab, a little bit more spin control. So it's going to come out flatter. Yes, you can plan for that in your shot, but also plan and expect that this is going to create a little bit more spin when you combine the angle of attack, the swing direction and keeping that club low to the ground. So let's review, shall we? We've got a slight modification in our ball position. That's step one. We've got a slight modification in our balance, allowing it to feel like it's going on the downhill leg. We have a slight modification in swing direction. And then the last piece to be successful off downhill lies is going to be feeling like that arc stays really low to the ground post contact. And you're going to have much more success when that ball is on this hanging downhill lie.